Over a span of at least 10 to 13 years, many things have changed. And like most of the doctors in training, I've spent the majority of my time at the hospital. Many long days, some happy times and others not that much. I had fun, of course, but at the same time, I saw some serious events. And these long duty nights, like many other doctors, kept me thinking about life, life itself. And this taught me many things, not only medically, but most of the time about life. I really encourage you to stay to the end. Some of these are not that obvious. Here I'm sharing seven life lessons I've learned during this journey. Hopefully you will like them. The first one is fragility of life. Witnessing this transition from vibrant health to vulnerability, and most of the times, in a blink of an eye, instills a profound respect for our fleeting nature of existence. And it's a reminder to cherish every moment and live with intention. Lesson number two is empathy. Empathy becomes an indispensable tool. Understanding the depth of another's pain, fear, hope is not merely a professional obligation, but it's a fundamental aspect of a human connection. In the quiet moments with patients, I've learned that genuine compassion can be as healing as a medication. I remember a story with a patient during my early years. I was still a medical student. I had a patient who had interstitial lung disease. It's a disease in the respiratory system. It was very advanced. He couldn't breathe adequately. And he was on the maximal medical therapy. And despite that, he was still feeling short of breath. The only thing that he asked me to do is to stay next to him and to hold his hand. He said that having someone next to him would ease his anxiety and made him feel better. Lesson number three is perseverance. As we all know that medicine is a demanding profession, of course, like other professions. It is filled with challenges and setbacks. And many of the times, we face failures, but I have learned the ability to endure and to learn from failures. And of course, this resilience extends beyond the hospital walls. It was preparing me to face life's failure, not only medical failures. The fourth one is the power of hope. The power of hope is undeniable. I'm gonna read something I wrote. So in the face of grave illness, you have nothing but hope. And hope can be a lifeline. It's a statement to the human spirit's capacity to find light even in the darkest times. I've learned also that if you have hope, patients can feel it, the family can feel it, and you can transmit this hope to the patients and the family. So hope is like a shareable superpower. Number five is a special one. It's the power of a support system. This is another lesson that I have learned by observing the patients and their families. You might have 300 friends, 500 connections, but during your illness, only these couple of parents and this one or two friends will come and visit you inconsistently, without hesitation, and they would feel genuinely concerned about your health. So remember these people, because these individuals make your life worth living, and give them your best. Number six is gratefulness. You cannot talk about life lessons from a doctor without talking about gratefulness. Most of us take everything for granted. And not only that, many times we complain of things that are, I'm sorry to say it, stupid. And this constant nagging will ruin everything you have because it's ruining your perspective of life. And I have noticed that patients would give anything to be in your shoes, to live your life. They would trade anything to have health and to be able to enjoy the simplest things in life, to get the luxury to have a walk in nature, for example. If you have it, appreciate that. This is what I've learned. So if you couldn't afford the latest phone model or you've been wearing the same shoes for the past year, it's not the end of the world. Don't think of it in that way. And finally, lesson number seven, God exists. 